Hi, I'm Sam from Website Right, and on this video I wanted to talk to you about adding multiple images within the same WordPress post. Now, one of my clients had this issue today actually, and I trialled it out using Gutenberg, the new editor, and it was really difficult. Switched to the classic editor, and even though it's got a gallery function, it's not very good, it, it sucks a little. Of course, if you're adding an individual image within WordPress, it's dead easy. You've got your blog post, you click add media, and then you can select your image, and then once you've selected it, drag it into place. You can then align it to the right, have the text wrap around the left, or vice versa, and it looks all right. But if you have multiple images, sometimes it can look a bit rubbish, because the images, so some could be landscape, some could be portrait, and they could be different dimensions as well, so different resolutions and different sizes. So. When you want to have them all together, it does look a bit naff. However, there's a plugin that makes it dead easy. All the thumbnails appear perfectly, and then it creates a lovely light boxed slideshow. So I'll show you how to do that now, and hopefully this can help make your blog posts look beautiful. Now for this example, I'm gonna use a client's website and I'm gonna look at one of his latest blog posts that he's done on hempjoy.co.uk here. So I've just clicked edit and you'll notice that when the page loads, we've actually got the classic editor running in WordPress and not Gutenberg. Now that's because I've downloaded the classic editor plugin because I'm not used to using those blocks and for writing a blog, it's just so much easier to do it in the old style format. I know I'll have to get used to doing it in Gutenberg. However, this is still streets ahead in terms of usability in my opinion anyway but anyway what we're going to do is insert a gallery between these two paragraphs here so what we would usually do is click add media and then click create gallery and then we'll be able to select our images now i just wanted to prove to you that the images that we're going to use are all sorts of different sizes that one's 900 by 600 uh, then let's scroll down a bit more and find some more. That's 800 by 500, a bit more, 1920 by 1280. That one's 1920 by 800 there, 900 by 600. So as you can see, we've got a plethora of image sizes that we're using here. So we're going to create a gallery using these six images anyway. And we've got the option of choosing the size of the thumbnail. So let's go for medium. We'll go for three columns, which should make it two rows of three. And we'll link to the media file and click insert gallery and see what that looks like. Um, yeah, um, not particularly great, I've got to say. Um, let's click update and see it in the flesh just to see if it is any good or not. And once it's saved, of course, we can just click the link and then preview the post and see what it looks like on the live site. And yeah, not great. Look at that. I mean, the images are slightly overlapping. There's space between the rows, but not between the actual individual photos. And look at this on the bottom. I just don't like that at all. Whilst the images load relatively nicely, uh, I'm sorry. Um, I've got to say that that's no good. So we want to have it looking lovely on this page. So that's what we're going to do now. So we're going to edit the post and remove what we've just done. And then we're going to download a plugin that's going to help us make this display absolutely perfect. So I've just basically restored the page back to how it was. And I'm going to now go to the plugins menu and then go to add new. And we're finding a plugin to download that's called Simple Lightbox Plugin. There's a search at the top of the plugins page, of course. And in there, just type in Simple Lightbox Plugin. And the plugin that we need is from an author called WebLizar because there will be quite a few that appear. There we go, WebLizar, simple light box gallery. Click install. And then once it has installed, click activate. And you'll see on the left hand side, we've got a new link that appears called Lightbox Gallery. Now, this is where we're gonna create our gallery. So you may think it's going slightly round the houses to be in your blog post and then have to come out of it and add a Lightbox Gallery here and then go back in your blog post to add it. I, I kind of understand what you're saying. However, then this can then be reused in multiple areas of your site, whether it's a, a post, a page, or a custom post type, really easy. So let's just call this, example gallery this is just 
as an example, of course, and then we'll add in some images here and we'll make sure we get a whole plethora of image sizes here. So I know that was one of them there. And as we scrolled further down, I think I used this one here, which is a different image size. Uh, let's go a bit further, that one there, there, and uh, this one here. So we've got our images and then we'll click select. There we go, there's our six images, all at different sizes. And as we scroll down, there are some settings here as whether we want to show the gallery title or the image label or the image description, none of which I do. I do want to have it three columns though and also have the same size thumbnail. So I'll make sure that's ticked as well. Once we've done that, we can click publish and then that's our gallery published. So we need to obviously then display that gallery on the blog post in question. So once it's saved, we'll go back to posts and then go to all posts and we'll edit the post that we were just on. Now you'll see that when we actually edit the post, there's a brand new button that's appeared at the top of the text editor that's called Simple Lightbox Gallery Shortcode. So if we went to now click it, this will show all the galleries that you've created. Now at the moment, we've just created the one example gallery, but usually you'd have a long list there of the galleries that you've created. And you can add this gallery now to any page, as I said, within your website. So it does make it easy. There we go. There's the short code that's been added. Users won't see that, of course. They will actually see the gallery there. So let's just click update. And once it's updated, we'll then go to the blog post and see what it looks like. So as we go on to the website now, we can scroll down and look, we can see all the images there look perfect because they all look in a nice square. But when you click them, you can then cycle through and see the images in their full glory like so. So obviously these are all different uh, dimensions here, but on the actual blog post in question itself, of course you see them as nice thumbnail squares. So they've cropped and been resized where appropriate. But how much better does that look than how it looked before? You've got this nice little scroll effect when you scroll over each one. But of course, when you actually click onto it, you get the lovely light box gallery that appears. So this is 100% the way forward if you want to display more than one image on a blog post. Of course, if you do just want the one image, you wouldn't be using the gallery at all. And just to demonstrate what I said earlier on, what you would do, we'll get rid of that gallery shortcode there, is just click add media, of course, find the image that you want to add, for instance, this one here, click insert into post, and then it will appear, you can resize it to however you want. And then once you click on the image itself, you can align it to the right, like so. Of course, you can't really do this for multiple images, otherwise it will be a mess. But the simple Lightbox Gallery plugin will be your savior. So use that and see if that works for you. Let me know how it was. If you found this tip helpful, there's more where that came from. I work with WordPress every single day of my life. No joke, I do. So subscribe to the videos and hit the notification bell to be informed of when I do a next video. And hit the thumbs up as well if you like this video to tell other people that it was a joy to watch. Thank you very much. My name's Sam Davis from Website Right.